For this week's In Focus, we take a visit to nationally acclaimed artist Jerry Radicke's gallery in Nisswa as he prepares to retire at the end of April. His passion for nature and colors is shown through his wildlife paintings. Our Logan Gay made a visit to his gallery to talk to him about his work and what he plans to do during his retirement. For artist Jerry Radeke, painting is not just a hobby, it's a way of life. He spent a number of years painting for galleries in Minneapolis before he decided to open one of his own. I grew up just uh, outside of Minneapolis and then for 30 years was uh, my artwork was published by the Wooden Bird Galleries which were headquartered in Minneapolis. They had 35 galleries. So I was with them 30 years and then thought it would be fun to have my own gallery and we picked Niswa and we've been here now 18 years and that was a good choice. Radeke's work can be seen all over the country and is used for various projects. I've done uh, yeah, about 300 limited edition prints over the years and with conservation I've donated I think, uh, I think uh, conservation has used about 80,000 of my prints for fundraising especially for uh, wetland preservation and uh, various projects uh, in conservation. He uses watercolors to communicate the beauty of nature through his delicate work. I paint mostly in watercolor, but uh, I, I also paint in oil. I learned watercolor. I studied for a year with the Chinese-American painter Jake Lee, and that's really where I got started in watercolor. Watercolor is the most difficult, but it's also the most challenging. After all of his accomplishments, Radeke has decided to retire at the end of April. He plans to enjoy his retirement by doing what he loves most. I, I kidded somebody. I said, you know, over the years I wanted to uh, be successful enough and they said what's your goal? My goal is to become a hobby painter <laughs> so I am going to paint for fun. And although there are many things he will miss about having his gallery one of the things he will miss most is simply meeting all the people that come through. The thing I really will miss is the the people you know over the years we've been here now in this gallery for 18 years and uh, you meet a lot of friends and it's always fun to see who collects the art. He is a proud supporter of wetland restorations and preservation and plans to continue to advocate for those causes. In this while, for this week's in Focus, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.